Have you ever looked at a running shoe that looks funny, but it makes sense? When I first looked at the Vibram Five Finger shoes, for instance, they looked funny, but didn't make any sense to me. The same is not true for Ultra. They look different, but for a good reason, and it makes sense. My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, and I'm a podiatrist in Houston, Texas. Many runners are shifting to zero drop shoes. They're perfect for some and not right for others. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the pros and cons of zero drop shoes. I'll focus on my favorite zero drop shoe, Ultra. Before I do, let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find this information. I wrote a book all about running shoes and how to choose them, and also how to properly fit them. You can order it for free at www.runningshoebook.com. Ultra shoes have a great origin story. Two teammates from their high school cross country team became friends and business partners. They were on a quest to find the best running shoes. They toasted, heated, and deconstructed shoes to transform them into what is now a wildly successful brand. Before I talk about Ultra, let's discuss zero drop shoes. While other brands have zero drop shoes in their catalog, Ultra is the only brand that exclusively makes zero drop shoes. Drop or pitch is a differential between the elevation beneath the heel and the elevation beneath the forefoot. A conventional running shoe has a drop of 8 to 12 millimeters. In a zero drop shoe, the heel and forefoot are at the same level. This enables runners to more easily contact the ground with their entire foot or their midfoot. Zero drop shoes are becoming increasingly popular among runners looking for a change in their footwear. Because these shoes feature no heel lift, it makes them ideal for people who want to run closer to a barefoot gait without sacrificing comfort. But what exactly do zero drop shoes offer over traditional running shoes? And how does it impact your performance? The benefits of zero drop shoes include a better connection to the ground, more control, improved stability, enhanced muscle activation, and greater energy return. Well, what about the potential problems associated with zero drop shoes? Some podiatrists believe that zero drop shoes cause the feet to become unstable and lose muscle tone. They claim that the lack of support can lead to plantar fasciitis and have argued that the lack of structure promotes overuse injuries such as stress fractures. I don't believe this to be true in most cases. The truth is that most people who choose a zero drop shoe do so because they find them comfortable and easy to use. There are plenty of options out there to help keep the foot stable. For example, some companies make insoles specifically designed for zero drop shoes. Or you can opt for a pair of socks that offer support and stability. And being a zero drop shoe does not eliminate the option to wear a custom orthotic. In fact, I have many runners wearing an ultra shoe with a custom orthotic. I just have to design the orthotic that doesn't negate the benefits of the zero drop shoe. The first thing you'll notice about an ultra shoe, any ultra shoe, is that it looks different. Gone is the tapered toe box. Ultra shoes are foot shaped. That means the forefoot is wider, even when the heel is narrow. This eliminates undue pressure in the forefoot. It also prevents the shoe dictating the motion of your foot. They call this foot shape fits. The shape allows your feet, especially your toes, to function independently inside the shoe. When your toes spread out, they give you more power in propelling you to the next stride. Another difference with ultra shoes is that they're gender specific. Now, all shoe companies have different men's and women's styles and sizes, but Ultra have their shoes specifically engineered for men or women. For instance, the women's styles have a narrower heel and a longer arch. There's even a difference in the upper of the shoe designed for a men's or women's foot. Just remember, there's a difference between zero drop shoe like Ultra and a barefoot shoe. 
They have models that have support and cushioning depending on what's right for you. In next week's video, I'm going to discuss the Newton running shoe. It's one of my favorites for some people. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. I wrote a book all about running shoes, how to choose them, and how they should properly fit. You can order it for free at www.runningshoebook.com. The link is in the description. If you're not sure that your current running shoe is the best fit for you, let me take a look. I'll watch you walk and run in the shoe and will let you know my thoughts. Don't hesitate to contact the office for an appointment. That link is also in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.